Hi, Brian Rao here just talking with Ray of Capcom. He's going to tell us a little bit about Bionic Commando Rearm 2. So, first of all, just uh, tell me what's n what's the biggest new changes that's coming to the Bionic Commando series? Well, the one that most people are talking about, which I, you know, is, is a big change in the series, but a small in design is the jump, the addition of the jump. Uh, you, you could traditionally have never jumped in a Bionic Commando Rearm or the NES game. Uh, what we want to do is we added that just to make the game a little less frustrating for players, make it more contemporary, more intuitive. People are used to jumping, just how it is in a platform game. But uh, it's a very small jump, it just allows you to get over uh, small obstacles, uh, so you don't have to just use your arm to do it. But the game is still very centered and focused on using the arm to traverse levels. And then there's a huge resurgence with any sort of 2D side-scroll in games right now. What do you think is going on? Why this renewed interest? All right. This is my, I don't know, it's kind of like my own opinion. Uh, there's a lot of uh, big 3D games going on, like making it all crazy and crazy action and big giant worlds. And sometimes, you know, you just got to take it back. And, uh, you know, a lot of us older gamers are, you know, 2D platforming games are, you know, that's where, that's our roots. That's where we come from. Yeah, do you think you guys will be extending the Rearm 2 series with any downloadable content, map packs, or new modes like Mega Man had the time attack mode? Right. Uh, at this time, uh, we haven't announced anything about DLC. Uh, again, you know, check CapcomUni.com, see if we uh, announce it. So tell me about some of the new weapons, any new techniques, tactics that you can use. Yeah, so we did, we did add a, a lot of new offensive uh, capabilities for, the, for uh, Nathan. Uh, we have I think what we're showing here that's new, besides the, the Haggle Breaker and the Revolver, which is from the first game, is the Napalm. Basically this uh, huge ball of flame that'll crawl up walls and go down and cover half of the screen. You gotta be careful because it, it'll burn you too. Uh, the, the game itself will feature uh, uh, several other new weapons. For the arm though, this is new. Uh, other than just using it for traversal, you can also use it as a weapon. So we have uh, off active and passive uh, components for the, for, the, for the arm. Uh, what we're showing here is a grenade launcher, uh, which is pretty much like the grenade launcher from the first one, but we're also showing the uppercut. So you can actually melee uh, enemies and barrels, barrels and enemies, enemies and barrels. Uh, but we'll also have several more. For the passive stuff, uh, we're showing here is a uh, health regen, which, as the name implies, is slowly, slowly uh, increase, uh, re refill your health. Now you mentioned the health regen, which I actually find really interesting that you incorporate that, because it's a very new school mechanic, whereas right. older games, you know, it was just one health bar, once it's gone, you're dead. Yeah. And more get more and more games seem to be going the route of health regeneration. Why, why are we pursuing that? Um, it's kind of an interesting question. I mean, this game still really falls into the, the old school, you make a couple of hits and you die. Um, we have health regen for those that wish to use it, but you know, if, if that's not your playstyle, if you want to be more offensive rather than defensive, you can pick a, a passive component that that will, uh, which we are, you know, we're not really talking about the other ones right now, but there'll be other ones that'll suit uh, guys, you know, that are confident, that, that, that have no problem staying alive. But, you know, we want to make sure other gamers, you know, all gamers can really uh, feel like they can progress and finish the game. So, for those that find themselves getting hit a lot, equip health to regen, help yourself out, and uh, that'll, you know, just basically help, helps the player out.